Well, it looks like somebody stopped by and left me a to-do list today. Finish review. Finish review of what? Well, oh my goodness, do you see what I see? Do you see the size of that radio? It fits underneath a 3x5 card. This is the DB25D 20 watt analog DMR radio from Radioddity, a tiny mobile radio that fits in the palm of your hand. That's as close to an unboxing as you'll see here. Mounting bracket for your vehicle, instruction manual, small tiny antenna, I'm guessing GPS, programming cable, microphone, which good grief is almost as big as the radio itself. And then we have this power cable. Well, what do we have here? We have an accessory connection for your car. Well, I'm going to be using this in the shack. So just when you cut this off, within three minutes, it automatically grows back as a power pole connector. Just kidding. I had one of these cables that I have used before, and now I have one for my vehicle accessory power port as well as for in the shack with power pole. The color screen on this radio is absolutely phenomenal. It is so crystal clear that it's actually capturing the reflection of the camera that I'm using to capture how good of a screen it is, and that's why it doesn't look perfect. It is a perfect looking screen. If cool factor were the sole criteria for choosing what radio to purchase, we would all have this on order. Being a minimalist as I am, you can understand my intrigue. While this radio has been out on the market for a while, this is the first time that I've had the opportunity to literally have it in the palm of my hand. Thanks Radioddity for providing this to me for my use and review, and so I can share it with my viewers and subscribers. This is a 20 watt analog and digital radio. It's analog UHF, VHF on the ham bands, and then we have digital DMR. It has the capacity of 300,000 contacts and 4,000 channels. By contacts, that means talk groups that you would want to add to that list and start consuming that 300,000 capacity. And then all the users out there that have DMR IDs, you can load those in to fill out and round out that 300,000 contact capacity. Channels, those would be the uh, actual contacts that you're attempting to make. Think of your contact list of 300,000 as your address book and the channels actually going to the address and having a conversation with it. We'll talk more about that when I show the CPS. Talking about CPS, I'm not going to spend a great deal of time going through the CPS. That would require its own separate video. A cool thing from Radioddity is that they actually populate the CPS with some sample information. And if you're new to DMR, it kind of guides you in how you would set this up for your local area or the hotspot that might be in your shack. All the features that you see on this list on the screen, we'll demonstrate those as we go out throughout the various features of the radio and show how to use all of those buttons and dials and knobs. So the CPS, I am going to show you also how to download it. There are two different CPS options, and I'm recommending the one that was created by Mike Mike 7 Delta Bravo Tango. It is much more user friendly to use. I'll show you how to download it. And then I'm also going to show you how to download an extended manual from the Radioddity website. It'll be your savior when you start asking yourself some questions on how to use certain features. Welcome to a sneak peek at my OCD. You don't want to spend a lot of time in my head. It's a scary place to be. Just ask my wife. I use Velcro all over the shack. This is command strip Velcro. So it's sticky on one side. And if you ever want to remove that sticky side from a wall or a surface, you pull on that tab and it releases the adhesive so you don't do any damage to the wall. I'm putting two pieces of the Velcro back to back and then you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to, well, at least I'm going to try to strip off that liner from the back side of the second piece and this will be the second sticky side. All over my shack I have things placed on the walls on various surfaces for putting fixtures and equipment there to help me and my ham way of life. And that's what I'm doing here. This radio needs to be permanently affixed someplace, well, actually not permanently affixed, but rather temporarily affixed someplace so it won't move around while I'm testing it. What I really like about this is anytime I wanna change my mind, I might just put some Velcro somewhere else in the shack and move the radio. That's the beauty of this. I have equipment installed permanently in my shack using this method. 
Hang on, we're going to go fast. Navigate to the Radiata D website, search DB25D, navigate to that page, click on it. It's going to take you to the specific page for the DB25D. Scroll down, click here to download the manual. This is where we're going to find the extended manual. This is all the downloads available from Radiotity. Click on the 25D, extended manual. Click here, download it, save it. Trust me, you'll want to refer to this later. Do a search now for Code Plug Editor by David MM7DBT. Mike Mike 7, Delta Bravo Tango. Click here to download. Open that up when it downloads. And all of a sudden, Bill Gates is going to begin to tell you what to do. Do what you're comfortable with. I told Bill Gates what I thought. I downloaded it. I use it. This is the CPS software I prefer. This is KD4BMG doing a sound check on Parrot. KD4BMG check, check, test, test. One, two, three. What's the sound like on the DB25D coming back from Parrot? KD4BMG doing a sound check on Parrot. KD4BMG check, check, test, test, one, two, three. What's the sound like on the DB25D coming back from Parrot? KK6KWX KD4BMG. Yeah, top of the morning to you. This is Scott uh, from Georgetown, uh, Texas here. I know it shows me in uh, California, but I moved since uh, that. Uh, so, anyway, good morning to you. How's everything going? Hey, Scott, the name here is Bob. Texas, California, DMR doesn't care, does it? We can go all around the world, which is one of the awesome things. Yeah, here in Tampa Bay, everything's going fantastic today. Uh, hope you don't mind showing up on uh, YouTube. I'm doing a video on a new radio here. I'm uh, working from a Radiotity DB25D. It's a 20 watt radio that just fits in the palm of your hand, and I'm giving it a go here today. Over. Uh, copy that. You didn't pick anything up. Yeah, I was just saying that uh, I use a R Finder uh, P1 on my end, and that uh, I will be uh, taking a look at that little palm size 20 watt DMR that you have there. Uh, sounds interesting to be using. KK6, KWX, KD4, BMG. Yeah, I'm going through a hot spot here. I'm on the Bridgecom Sky Bridge and uh, just sitting here in the shack um, and having fun playing radio. I normally operate on HF. Uh, I've got the uh, DB25D sitting on top of my IC7300 and uh, certainly enjoy DMR and all the opportunity to talk around the world and meet new people. And, uh, you know, I pick a lot of people up on HF in Texas, but again, DMR, we can get anybody around the world. So appreciate, uh, the time this morning. Can you just tell me how the radio is sounding to you? I haven't done anything with microphone gain or anything else. So I just want to make sure I'm coming through. Okay. Me coming in any clearer. If you were sitting next to me, having uh, coffee with me, uh, <laughs> Fantastic uh, sounding there. Uh, you got it down wired. This is KD4 BMG in Palm Harbor with a new radio setup in the shack. Checking to see if anybody can hear me and give a radio report. Over. Appreciate that, friend. Little 20-watt uh, radio that can fit in the palm of your hand. Just got to hook up to the antenna in the attic space here in the HOA and having a blast with it. Appreciate the uh, signal report. 73, friend. Okay, welcome. Make sure you check the SWR on that radio, too, before, before you try to transmit too much because it can do damage to the radio. Yep, appreciate that. Thanks, friend. 73. Spoiler alert, you're not going to have to wait to the end to get my opinion. You should wait because there's more to come. I've reviewed the GD88, the DB40D, and now the DB25D. The GD88 is the handheld version of what appears to be a trio of radios manufactured by the same company for Radiotity. And I say they're manufactured by the same company. I don't know that as a fact. It's just that the user interface and menu set is so similar between the three that it just seems that's likely the case.
Or Radioddity has very specifically directed the design of these three radios independently and required a similar menu set and feature set. The DB40D I had for a period of about one week on the tabletop while I was working with it to understand it and do a review, and then it had to be shipped out to another person for review. I like that radio, 40 watts of output, mobile for the vehicle or the shack, but I didn't have a long period of time with it. The DB25D Radioddity has provided to me to keep and use, and there will likely be future videos on this radio. I'll tell you right now, it is my favorite of the three to use. Now, part of that is the cool factor of the size. That's just amazing. And it's, that's not a disparaging statement on the other two radios. It's just saying this is an awesome little rate radio with its feature set and its capabilities. But what do we make of that 20 watts? And now I'm just going to do a very basic and simple test. This is not, you know, scientific from the perspective of this is how far these 20 watts will take you. But for where I live and where the repeaters are near me, I'm just going to do a simple test. Before we jump over to that, I do have to show you the CPS because that's part of you understanding what the test is. Right now, we are looking at the contacts. Remember, there are 300,000 contacts capacity with this radio, and that would mean all the DMR talk groups you would want to load into here, and that would also mean of the DMR contacts, individuals with a DMR ID that you would want to add into this radio so you could have information when you key up or when they speak, you can see their call sign. That would be where this would go in the contacts section. When you go to zones, channels, this is where you have a 4,000 capacity, 4,000 entries. This is where some of the information is pre-populated by Radiodity. Row four through row eight were pre-populated. Some of the others I've changed. I've already changed one, two, and three. This frequency right here, 4465500, that's my local DMR hotspot. And that's why I do not have, you know, TS1 or TS2. It's just on, and that's what you would do in simplex mode with a hotspot. And then down here, we have three repeaters that I have put in. Holidays about, um, well, we'll talk about the distance here in a second. So let me bring up the map for distance, and then we'll see if we can key up and hit these repeaters. The HOA ham QTH is here in the Palm Harbor, Florida area, and the repeater that I normally transmit to in the NI4CE repeater system is located in Holiday, Florida, about five miles away. The NI4CE repeater system is a linked repeater system throughout the Tampa Bay area used for um, local ham communication, just QSOs. It's also used for local nets, Skywarn nets, and emergency communication. Anytime there is an event for which hams and amateurs need to stay aware of and ready for. So these 20 watts, how far do they take me? Well, another repeater system, or I should say another repeater on the NI4CE repeater system is in Bartow, Florida. And Bartow, Florida is somewhere out here in this general area. So let's just say it's about 50 to 56 miles away. That's where Bartow is. And I can typically hit that repeater with this 20 watt DB25D. And then the next closest repeater in the NI4CE repeater system is somewhere down here near Verna, Florida, which is about 65 miles away. And I cannot typically key up that repeater system. So let's uh, take you back over to the radio. We'll go through both of those three channels in the um, DB25D menu set, we'll key up and identify ourselves. Well, we won't bother with the holiday, the QSO that you saw earlier, that was with the holiday repeater. So we'll go to the Bartow repeater and then the Verna repeater. Okay, first up, let's try the Bartow repeater about 56 miles away. KD4BMG testing, testing, no response required. And let's go to the Vernon repeater. KD4 BMG testing, no response required. Exactly what I expected. We don't key up that repeater. Let's play with some buttons and dials. The top left corner dial is multifunction. And on the top right corner, I'm pressing on a back button. The first thing I'm doing is going to silent mode to get rid of all of those beeps. I'm not going to talk through every feature, but just those that I use the most and want to highlight. This zone channel feature, let's go over to the CPS so I can explain what this is. 
here are three selectable zone lists. You can have as many as you want. Each zone list will have so many channels in it. So that first zone list you saw had 13 channels. These are the 13 channels. The hotspot zone, that has two channels. So if I clicked on it, you would see two channels or two people I intend to contact. That's how this works. Display mode, that's obvious. How do we want our information to appear on the screen? Factory reset, I do like to have that in case you really screw something up with the radio, you have the ability to undo it with a reset. Power, we're gonna go through this in a minute with a power test. This is where we select low and high. Squelch, we have various squelch levels. We're used to that on our radios. Narrow wideband. We have a few important parameters here in the appendix, the GPS, FM radio. Then how we're going to hear from the radio. We have a speaker mic so we can listen to the speaker mic only, the speaker in the radio or the radio speaker and the mic at the same time. And that's pretty good. And then we do have APRS. Device info, that would be what version of software we're on. And channel edit. This is where you can go anytime you're in any channel that's on the screen and you can change the parameters on that particular channel. Right now, this channel that we're on is in analog. You can see the frequencies we're receiving, transmitting, the power setting, wide CTCSS. That's where you would go on an individual channel to change things. And you can do that outside of the CPS. Time for our power test on high, starting on two meters. We come in at 18.4 watts. And now we'll go ahead and change that power setting to low. And you can do this whether you're in channel mode or VFO mode, whichever uh, frequency you're on, you just go here into the menu and change right now. You don't have to do that in CPS. Low power, 7.1, 7.2. Looks like we're gonna flatten out at 7.25. Let's go ahead over to 70 centimeters. Go back to a little high power first. And here we go, 430. High power, keying up, and we are at 18.7 watts. Looks like that's where we're going to settle in. Change the power output to low. And here we go. 6.7 watts. Here we are in low power, 6.7 watts. Does the DB25D get the HOA HAM seal of approval? Is there, is there even a question? Uh, form factor alone is just awesome. The size of this radio, the 20 watts is sufficient. Uh, there aren't a lot of DMR mobile radios out there. Mobile. When we use the word mobile, we think of our vehicles. And of course, many of us put this in the shack. And when we talk about mobile, when this radio fits in the palm of your hand, if that 20 watts gets the job done for you, as it does for me, then this just has so many different opportunities for use case from shack to MCOM kits, to travel, to putting it into a rental car, into a RV that you use occasionally. This thing could do so many different things for you. So absolutely. My seal of approval, this is a no-brainer. Uh, as I've already mentioned, between the GD88, the DB40D, and the DB25D, this is absolutely my favorite of the three. And there aren't a lot of DMR mobile radios out there. And again, I just put that in air quotes because most of us put them in our shack, and most of them aren't this size. So this is a good one. I hope you found this useful. I'll talk to you soon, friend. 73.